Okay, today I am going to show you how to turn on filters for your OverDrive um, ebook and e audiobook collection if you're going in using your computer. So you start out on the Carol Library website, which is www.carolibrary.org, and then you go over to the right side where it says Download Audiobooks, Ebooks, OverDrive, and you click on that button. Then you end up in the library's OverDrive website. And the first thing you need to do is sign in with your library card. So you click on sign in. You'll have to go through, there's a drop down menu that has all the libraries that participate in our particular cooperatives, Overdrive Catalog, and find Cairo Area District Library. Then go ahead and put in your library card number. And then you'll have a four digit PIN number. Now this PIN number is something that you chose when you signed up for your library card. So if you don't remember it, you can call us and we can walk you through that. And then go ahead and click sign in. Okay, so here we are and we have the whole ebook and e-audiobook collection. Now to turn on filters, you go to My Account, which is over on the right-hand side, and then towards the bottom of that menu is an option that says Settings. So I'm gonna click on that one. And this has all kinds of different settings in here. Um, you can actually choose, I don't know if you ever realized this, you can choose the length of time that you wanna check things out for. So eBooks have an option of seven or 14 days, as do audiobooks. Um, videos have options, but our library doesn't our cooperative doesn't have any videos. It just happens to be something that's on here. You can have OverDrive save your history, or you can have them not save your history if you like privacy issues. Um, then down here, you can choose your audience. Normally when you log in, it's set up for all audiences. If you just want, say, maybe this is your kid's library card and you just want them to see books that are for their age level, this is nice because it also... Um, creates less frustration as they're digging through things and not finding anything that's of interest to them. You could choose just juvenile or you could choose just young adult or whatever combination of these settings that you want. Um, if you have a Kindle, depending on how you transfer books to your Kindle, you may only want to show the Kindle book option for ebooks. That's an option on here. And then there are also some accessibility options. And one of them is high contrast. Um, that means you can, it's easier to see some people that, that like that. And then also the, the really nice thing about Overdrive is they have a dyslexic font. So if you or your child or your spouse has dyslexia, this is a very specific font that makes it easier for them to read and understand. So that's also a nice option. So for now, I'm just gonna choose this juvenile filter and when I clicked on it, it said that it's saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and go look at the collection. I'm gonna click on subjects. And then in this case, uh, let's say I want just eBooks. So that's an option here at the top. And how about mystery? So I'll go ahead and click on that. And now it is only showing me eBooks that are mysteries. And you'll also notice um, at the top, it shows you if this book is available right at this minute. So you could download it and check it out right now. So there's actually quite a few. See this one over here, this James Patterson, this is what it looks like if it's checked out to somebody else, it's the wait list. But yes, here we go. These are books that are available right now for this particular audience and they're eBooks. So again, if you wanna change your settings, you go to my account and settings is the last option before logging out. If you have any questions, please give us a call at the library and we can walk you through this. Thanks.